It's on infantile hypertrophic pyloric stenosis. First, here's how you can see it on imaging. You can see the pyloric stenosis is long and large here. This is the normal stomach, the exit of the stomach, and normally it's much smaller than what you see here. The pathogenesis is that you have a thickening of the pylorus, which means it leads to gastric outlet obstruction. Risk factors include being a firstborn male baby, macrolid antibiotics as well. History is usually the kid is about three to six weeks old. They'll usually present after having several episodes of projectile non-bilious vomiting, and they'll immediately be hungry afterwards too. So they'll vomit right after eating, and they'll be followed by interest in refeeding. So it's often called a hungry vomit vomiter symptom. On examination, you'll feel a palpable olive-shaped mass in uh, the baby's abdomen, although you don't always feel this, so don't rely on this exam finding. You can also see visible peristalsis. That's the stomach squeezing behind the large hypertrophic pyloric stenosis. You might also have signs of dehydration, like a sunken fontanelle if the kid has been vomiting a lot. On imaging, you can see hypochloremic, hypokalemic metabolic alkalosis. Um, this can also be normal if the disease is diagnosed early. You might also see an indirect hyperbilirubinemia. On ultrasound, you'll see what we saw in the background here, thickened elongated pylorus. The treatment here is IV fluids first. You want to hydrate and correct the electrolyte abnormalities, and then they need a surgical procedure to get it.